What's up guys, this is gonna be a follow-up to my last video where I talked about the carnivore diet. Um, in this video, I'm gonna talk about some additional experiments that I've done with that diet and what diet I'm doing right now and why. Um, the format of this video is gonna be a bit different. It's gonna be kind of podcast style and you guys let me know what you think. Um, but, but I'm kind of enjoying the idea of this content or this, this structure right now. So like I mentioned in my last video, my, my goals here are, are simple. I wanna live in vibrant health, I wanna look sick, and I wanna be strong as hell. And all three of those tie together uh, pretty nicely. They all support each other, in, in my opinion. And so that's gonna be the principal focus of this channel, kind of continuing to work and tweak and optimize everything in order to achieve each of those goals. Um, and I'm excited to kind of continue to do that and, and kind of take you guys along with me. What I liked and disliked about the carnivore diet, I liked that it did seem to reduce my systemic inflammation. My nasal congestion was improved a, a bit. Um, I felt like my airway was a bit less inflamed and overall everything felt very good. My joints felt very good. And, and so that's one benefit. I lost a ton of weight. That's another benefit, but you know, it could be a pro and a con. Like I feel like it'd be a very hard diet to like support strength gains and support muscle gains, but to lean out, it does seem effective. But in terms of the downsides, you know, one, I, I would be hungry towards the end of it, but meat just looked disgusting. Like I just had zero interest in eating any kind of meat um, by, by the end of it. Kind of, I, I did it for several separate periods ranging from four to seven days. And I've done that a few different times. Workout intensity suffers. At, at least that was my experiment, experience on the diet. Um, and, and it wasn't a magic bullet for me. Now, if I knew that it would just cure my sleep apnea, then okay, game over, I could tough it out despite, you know, kind of the imperfections and, and things that make it harder to sustain, I would be able to kind of just grind it out because it's worth it to me. But it wasn't, it, it made some marginal improvements. So I am not doing carnivore right now. What I'm doing right now is something called animal-based. And this is not something that I have come up with. Dr. Paul Saladino, otherwise known as Carnivore MD, is the one that I kind of learned about this diet from. He was historically carnivore and, you know, kind of had some autoimmune issues that he wanted to heal. Carnivore worked, but ultimately he reintroduced carbohydrates in the form of fruit and honey. And it kind of helped him maintain a lot of the benefits of carnivore while introducing carbohydrates and improving performance. And so to kind of put it in perspective, basically there's four kind of key things that I'm eating on a daily basis. And this is me personally. One is, you know, high quality meat. For me, it's grass fed ground beef, um, that that's the vast majority. It is organ meat. For me, that's primarily uh, beef liver, beef heart, and, and kind of various beef organs. And I have a blend that I've been eating, which is, you know, basically it's one pound, 90% of that pound is grass-fed ground beef, 7% is liver, 3% is heart, um, and it actually tastes totally fine too. And then in terms of fruit, um, basically pretty much any fruit is permitted. And then honey, raw kind of organic honey. Yeah, I mean, it's been a really interesting diet. Honestly, the, the introduction of carbohydrates has been transformational. The diet seems so much more sustainable and I feel so much better. My gym intensity hasn't suffered at all, but I've been able to get a lot of the same benefits that I got from carnivore, which was kind of that reduction in inflammation. My nasal congestion is better. Um, and, I, and I've very much enjoyed this so far. I, my intention was not to say, oh, there's you know these great benefits from eating organ meat, but it has been interesting. I do feel quite good. Like the meal that I have over and over again is I'll have a pound of that beef blend. So it's beef and then some organs. I will have 
one to two plantains that I'll kind of fry in the pan after I cook the beef, and then I'll put honey and salt on top of it. It's actually <laughs> absolutely delicious. I'm, I feel like I'm cheating almost, but, but it's on the diet. And then if I need a snack, I'll have either like a clementine, a kiwi, or something that's more of like a dessert is a date. Like I'll put the dates in the fridge and then put salt on them. And, I, and that I actually do feel like I'm cheating. Just absolutely delicious. I love those. And so, yeah, that's been the majority of my calories. Ground beef, a little bit of uh, organ meat, plantains, honey, salt, dates, and then, you know, kind of clementines and kiwis here and there. Um, it's been it's been great. So I, I like I said, I've been getting a lot of those benefits that I got from carnivore where you know my nasal congestion is better, my inflammation is better, but in a more sustainable manner. So I'm gonna take this one week at a time. It hasn't been a magic bullet for for my sleep apnea, but neither was carnivore. Um, so if I can get a little bit of marginal improvement, that's worth it to me. Um, it's only been you know a week or so, but so far I've I've really enjoyed it. On my training, you know, I've been sticking with minimalist training. I'm at home for a little while and I have kind of set it up so I can do pretty much everything that I need to do here at home in, in the small gym in my condo building. For chest, I've been doing primarily weighted dips. I brought some plates from home and so I can do weighted dips. I've got you know, 150 pounds of plates. So that's much better than rigging up the dumbbells. And, and so I can go pretty heavy there. For back, I have, you know, kind of that same plate set. So I can, uh, you know, set it up to do heavy weighted pull-ups. For shoulders, there's kind of two options. I can go heavy on a kind of a cable system press or just use a pretty nice um, shoulder press machine that, that I've enjoyed. Arms, I can do cable curls, you know, kind of cable press downs and add weight there. That's that's totally fine. And then for legs, I've been doing lunges. Ultimately, I'll get back into kind of heavy hex bar squats, but for the time being, I'm totally fine just, just doing lunges. Um, and so yeah, like training's been going quite well despite working here at, at home with, with kind of limited equipment. I've also kind of continued to do cardio post-workout. Um, I just think that I've enjoyed some amount of running and generally I never run more than a mile and just, you know, run a mile, like quick mile at six, six and a half miles an hour post-workout. I just feel good and it doesn't really affect me negatively. It, it only affects me positively, I'll say. I am tweaking the minimalist training a bit. It's, it feels good to kind of experiment with it a bit. Um, you know, everything works until it doesn't. And, and to be clear that the training approach still does work but in a perfect world you would train you know kind of very heavy and supplement that with some volume work as well and so i'm working on kind of the most efficient way to incorporate some level of volume so that's kind of my next thing that i've been uh, beginning to experiment with in terms of sleep the diet has been helping with that a bit i've been kind of continuing to stretch i have a really interesting um, stent coming that is kind of aimed at stabilizing my upper palate. Uh, that could be pretty cool. It's removable. It's something that's been available in Europe, I think, for quite some time, but it, but it recently has become available in the U.S., so more to come there. And to the extent you have any questions about this or, or kind of anything else, please feel free to leave them below in the comments. But regardless, Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all you guys and I'll talk to you soon.